Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you the tutorial for the quantity discount in which the following cost is fixed. For this question, we have two vendors here to consider in which vendor A and vendor B. Each have a different price. Vendor A costs about 35 ringgit per unit and vendor B is about 35 ringgit 50 cent. And then we have all the rules here, the order size and the discount given. Same goes to vendor B. We have all the size and also the discount given. And then we have to decide which one is the best to get the minimum to get the minimum total cost for the inventory. Is it A or B? Okay, and then for the part B, there is some change on the demand. And again, we need to decide which one is the best. Okay, so we start with the, all the information given to us. We have demand, annual demand, and 100. We have H, 5 ringgit. S, we have 27 ringgit. And we start with vendor A. We have to find the Q. Okay, the optimal Q that we need to order. So we have the all information. So 99 is the best. Okay, but we need to check with the... Uh, all the size from 1 to 49 nope we cannot buy and uh, with this uh, rule so it's invalid so we don't need to calculate the total cost at all and then for the second one 50 to 99 okay this 99 is within the range so we can buy at 99 and then for the third one okay it's 100 and more so we need to do some adjustment we need to change or adjust to the minimum that we can buy here, so 100. So next, we look at vendor B. And these are the vendor B uh, order size rules. Okay, the Q should be the same because all the B, S, and H is the same. So it's going to be 99. Okay, we test for the first order size. 1 to 69, no, 99 is not within the range, so it's not in, so it's not valid, so we don't need to calculate for the total cost, okay? And then we check for the second one, 70 to 139, okay? We need to buy 99, yeah, we can buy at 99 within the range. And then for the third one, 140 and more, okay, we need to buy 99, but it's not within the range to get a 5%, so minimum that we can buy is 140, so we need to adjust to 140. Okay, now we need to calculate the total cost in which we can compare, okay, for all the Q that we need to buy. Okay, remember the vendor A and B, okay, these are the total cost formula that we need to use, okay, we have P, D at the end because it involved with the price, we have different price, okay, for each rule. Okay, these are the price that has been discounted. Remember, vendor A, the price is 35. So now the valid uh, price is starting from uh, here. So 1% of 35 is 34, we get 65 cents. And then the 3% off of 35, we have 33, we get 95 cents. And we do the same thing for vendor B. Okay, the first one is not valid. So we start with the second. Second one is two percent off thirty five ringgit fifty cent, so we have thirty four ringgit seventy nine cent, and we do that for the five percent off of thirty five ringgit fifty cent, so we got thirty three ringgit seventy three cent. Okay, okay. All the Q that we have uh, decided before, in which some of the Q we need to be adjusted. So we have the Q, we have the price, and then we need to calculate the. Uh, ordering cost, the holding cost, the annual production cost, and we have the total for the three, okay, three price here. So now we need to decide which one is the lowest. So we found that this one is the lowest one, and the, the best answer that for this uh, lowest uh, total cost is pink color. Remember, it's a B, vendor B. So we need to answer the question, which vendor do you choose? So we choose B. So we buy at 140 units at 33.73 cent for the lowest total cost. Okay, we have answered for the part A. Let's go to the part B. 
But we say that expected demand uh, for the next year going to be 1,200. Okay, so it means that our optimal Q have changed. And then also, there's a change of price. Vendor A is 38 ringgit, vendor B is 39 ringgit. If flex manufacturing only consider selecting the vendor in question 5A, remember in 5A, we choose vendor B, right? Okay, so we're going to consider vendor B. Recalculate the optimal or the quantity, that's the new Q, and then also the total cost. So for this case, the B has been changed. H is still RM5 ringgit, S is the same. And again, we need to calculate, recalculate the Q because the D has been changed. So the D now should be 114 units. Okay? So we need to test with the vendor B. Okay? These are the order size. So now it becomes 114. So for the first one, it's not even in the range, so it's, it's not valid. And we don't need to calculate the total cost. And then for the second one, 70 to 139, yes, we can buy at 114. And for the third one, 140 and more, I need to do some adjustments, so I need to buy at 140. Okay, so now I need to calculate the total cost for these two. So remember, we have changed the price of 39, so we need to do some discount here. So 2% of 39, we have 38 ringgit 22 cent, and then 5% of 39, we have 37 ringgit 5 cent. And remember the queue that we have decide. So the first one we buy 114, and then the second one we adjust to 140. And again, we're going to calculate the ordering cost, annual cost, uh, holding cost, product cost, and these are the new total cost. So for this case, the lowest one is this one. And we need to summarize in which buy 140 units at the price of 37 ringgit 5 cent for the total lowest cost. So we have answered all the questions. So I think that's all. Hope you understand the explanation. So hope to see you again. Thank you.